Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about September because it was a full month. It was so crazy. I was even thinking about that song like wake me up when September ends, but that I would have missed that one so much because no, I want to be awake for September because it was jam packed with awesome things and God is good. I think about that song um, like it's this Christian song. It's like let it rain. It's like let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Or as you ver in Spanish, if you know that one, it's the same thing. But basically, I feel like I've been experiencing so many blessings, and so I'm so thankful. And yeah, I've it's. I can see like putting in the work and then God like bearing the fruit from that. So that's what I feel like this month was. So just to kick it off, let me see. So this month started off with my friend's wedding, Brittany, on September 10th. And that was amazing. It was, um, yeah, I it was such a busy time leading up to the wedding, uh, get every, getting everything prepared. And dude, like low key, like Brittany and Carrie will tell you that it felt like anything that could happen against this wedding was happening where people couldn't make it out because of health issues in the family suddenly or like a groomsman dropping out or the groom um putting stuff away and accidentally getting his ring finger cut it was like what is happening and then like it was um during the heat wave in california and it was like hot 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 their wedding day rain hot 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 and we're like what is happening like seriously this is we were just like praying we we're all gathering and praying and the lord was good the lord was faithful where yeah like only a few drops at the reception but it was pretty much good like rain like that day but then it stopped for the wedding praise god and and so yeah it was and it was a beautiful night it was yeah, we got through a lot, but I'm really thankful that it ended up great for Brittany and Carrie. And more importantly, it was the union of, um, yeah, Brittany and Carrie under God. So it was great. And, and with that, I think I had a lot of goals, but I was like, okay, after the wedding. And so after that, that's when I was able to rest and recover and then um, really put work into getting an agent. I felt like during when I had COVID, like that was something the Lord was putting my heart to step out in faith and to get deeper into the industry with um, seeking out an agent. And so, um, yeah, after that, I really started putting time and effort into prepping my materials, working on a cover letter, uh, getting demo reel footage and, and putting it together, asking my friends who are with agents, um, yeah, if they, what they thought of their agent and um, some of them, you know, if they were willing to, you know, refer me uh, for that. And yeah, I was so blessed where people, you know, were able to share their wisdom and also um, just, yeah, and some people being willing to refer me was such a blessing and I'm so thankful. And yeah, and then I just started submitting. And so Tuesday at 9 a.m. is the best time to send things to your agents, at least right now it is so they're more likely to open it and so yeah i started sending out to them and honestly i i heard back from one right away and that was exciting and i got a meeting with them i was like yes and then i felt like i wasn't hearing back from anyone else and i was so discouraged honestly i felt so bad and i felt like so like nobody wants me my stuff isn't good enough like why did i ever think i was good enough but um, yeah, I know that was the enemy. <laughs> like that very weekend when um, our acting group got together, the elite 2% group, which consists of my friend Zachary and my friend Samantha, AKA Sam. Like, uh, like I, it was talking, like our lesson we went through was addressing like mindset. And I could tell like I was believing a lot of lies of the enemy. And I was like, dude, I need to get to the Lord and pray and ask the Lord like why am I so insecure and and with that like that week like um, the sermon was about putting on the full armor of God 
and I was like, wait, I haven't been as diligent in the word, like, I haven't been diligently, like, you know, um, it says that the shield of faith, you know, blocks the flaming arrows that the enemy sends at us, and I feel like the flaming arrows instead were hitting me, and I was believing all these lies about myself, so I was like, dang, I need to have more faith in the Lord, and, um, and in the plans he has for me, and just be in the word more so I can build up and have my full armor on. So that was like definitely a wake up call. And like, I think it was soon after that, like I got another agent that reached out and it was one that I really liked. So I was super excited about that. And I felt, yeah, I was like, oh cool. You know, there's more options. And, and then um, the following week I decided to submit to more because I already had the cover letter and everything ready. So I just need to send to more people. And I did that. And then I had like a crisis almost where the links that I sent were not working, like for my demo reel, for my website, for um, all my acting pages. And like, luckily one of them reached out and was like, hey, it's not working. And I was like, oh my gosh, sorry. So like, I was like, I didn't know it was wrong. So I like copied, like they worked for me. So I copied and sent them and I said, here you go. And I did that for everyone. I was like, hey, I heard it didn't work, here you go. And then that agency was like, it's still not working. And I was like, oh, I just sent everyone again things that didn't work. And I was like, but it's working for me. I don't understand it. And so I asked people to pray for me because I was so upset. And then, um, you know, what? I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to change some settings in my browser. I'm going to, um, like, like go to each of these links and copy and paste, copy and paste. So it's exactly fresh instead of um, just taking it from one email to another. And I was like, here, here you go. And I was like, Lord, let this work, please. And, and it did. And so then they scheduled a meeting with me, which was so awesome. And I'm so thankful. And so, yeah, I've in the month of September, I had two auditions for agencies and then two meetings with agencies and yeah I think it's been going well it's not the first round of choices that I wanted but also um, my friend was telling me that you know maybe what we wanted what I wanted isn't exactly actually what I do want it's what I think I want but I don't know there's other good things out there and ultimately maybe it's not what God wants you know so I'm super excited that God is opening up these doors and I don't know, like I'm excited that I might be signing with an agent in the next week or two. And um, lastly, um, there's been open doors with school, like uh, taking classes where um, I, so I took Groundlings, the first one, and I actually passed. Um, and I, but I wanted to do it again. I wanted to practice because I pretty much barely did pass. And so, um, basically, um, I was like, God, I really want to take this again, but I don't, I can't afford it. It'll be like $390. Um, I'd love that so I can go up to the next stage with confidence. But if that's not your will for me, if you don't think, I need it then that's okay I'll keep practicing with my friends but I would love to take it again but yeah I can't afford it and then soon after that I got an email from um, the groundlings and they reach out to people who are past um, scholarship recipients they're like hey we have a, a basic improv class starting up and they need workout spots so this is if you've taken it before um, you would be there as an example to help them and be bring the energy um, yeah, and it'd be free. So, and it happened to be with um, uh, Kevin Burnson, who I wanted to take classes with. I've heard great things about him. So I was like, oh, this would be amazing. And so they're like, if you're interested, put your name into the lottery and we will draw out some names. And so I was like, oh Lord, if you want me to do this, please make it away. Like, and I got it. So like, praise God. And I've been in that and it's been so good. I think the second time around, I've been more confident. I've been going for it. I've been giving a lot of energy towards it. So I'm just so thankful to, to be going through it again, even stronger. So I'm ready for intermediate level, even more so. 
And then um, last but last, last but not least, um, so all of that I'm waiting, you know, to hear back from the scholarship before I take intermediate improv at the Groundlings. And I found out on um, like one of the last days of the year, the 30th, um, I mean for the month of September, um, that I got a full class scholarship. So it's fully paid for and I can take in intermediate improv fully covered. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so thankful to the Groundlings for their diversity scholarship too. So like, I'm just astounded by this month. It's been open doors and and open opportunities and God moving so much. So I'm so thankful. And yeah, man, it's it's been putting a lot of work and effort, but really seeing the fruit from it. Because that's what God, God's the one who has the fruit grow. Because I could be toiling, doing all these things in my own power, but like I feel like, you know, God called me to the, do these things and I see these doors opening. So... It's been amazing, and I would love to hear how your guys' September was. And yeah, I can't wait to share even more and see what October has for me and you guys. Okay, bye guys.